Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we are going to be reviewing the Apollo Pro from Close Guitars. Let's check it out. This is the Apollo Pro from Close Guitars. We've already reviewed the Apollo Standard, and I was very impressed with that bass overall. And I think Close is on the right track and getting ever closer <laughs> to perfection. However, the Apollo Pro offers some additional accoutrement, including an upgraded body material with ash for this particular finish, and Fishman Fluence pickups. We also get upgraded hardware, which I'll go over shortly. But first, let's go over the basic specs of this bass. The body, as I mentioned, is an ash body, and you get ash for this, the natural, and the golden brown finish. I believe all the solid colors are a coma, but the standard finish here with the dark brown is ash. For electronics, we have two Fishman Fluence pickups here, as well as the whole Fluence pickup system on top of this carbon fiber pick guard. Moving down to the bridge, we have a custom in-house close bridge. I also noticed that with this bridge, you have the option to string through the body, though the body itself is not drilled for that. Though I do believe close offers that as an option, I do wish that it was standard here on the Apollo Pro. For controls on the Apollo Pro, we have a master volume control with a push-pull functionality to engage the single coil mode. We also have a master blend control and then a two-band preamp, a treble and bass control. We also have a three-way toggle switch for the different preamp voicings. We have a modern voicing, a modern scooped voicing, and a vintage voicing. Moving up to the neck, this is a 24 fret, 34 inch scale carbon fiber neck with a foam core. It's the exact same neck that you get on the Apollo standard. Outside of, I believe the nut material has been upgraded and you get these upgraded tuners as well up at the headstock. These are the GraphTech ratio tuners, and I believe each tuner is set up for a particular string with a very specific ratio. So there's a specific E, A, D, and G tuner as opposed to being able to use any tuner for any string. Overall, I think these are pretty neat upgrades, but let's go ahead and turn the space around. Around back, there's really not much to see. We have the beautiful dark brown finish and a battery compartment because this is an active bass. The Apollo Standard that we reviewed was a fully passive instrument, so we did not have a battery compartment, but this one includes it, and it is a 9 volt. We also have the same style body shape and neck attachment as we do on the Apollo Standard, with the same style screws. Check out my unboxing video, which will be linked in the description below, to see how this base is essentially put together out of the box. We once again also see the carbon fiber neck. Beautiful, beautiful carbon fiber here. And then moving up to the itty bitty headstock, we see these GraphTech ratio tuners. Now, how much does the Close Apollo Pro weigh? This particular example comes in at 8.8 .8 pounds, which I believe is a hair heavier than the Apollo standard that we reviewed. Overall, a very lightweight instrument given that it's a solid ash body and a carbon fiber neck. And how much does the Close Apollo Pro cost? I believe they start at $2,000, $1999. However, with the upgraded Fishman Fluence Electronics, we are looking at $2,164. That is nearly $750 more than the Apollo Standard. Though you do get the upgraded hardware, upgraded electronics, and it comes with the case standard, where the Apollo Standard does not come with the case, and you have to buy that separately for $100. For $1,400, the Apollo Standard is pretty hard to beat. And we're going to be asking the question today, are these upgrades worth the $750 that it costs to jump to this particular instrument? Well, let's find out. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Oh, not bad, not bad. So 
please be sure to check out my Apollo standard video first as I go over a lot of the construction details of this base, including the swimming pool route that goes underneath this pick guard, allowing for all sorts of different pickup configurations that you can choose yourself. So here's everything centered one more time. <laughs> Let's go ahead and solo the pickups now. We are going to solo the neck pickup first. We have it in humbucker mode and the EQ is centered and we are still in the modern voicing. We'll go over all three voicings shortly. So here is the neck pickup soloed. Let's play with this voicing switch a little bit, and then we'll start messing with the EQ and the coil modes. So still in humbucker mode, we're gonna move the switch from the modern setting to the modern scooped setting. Big difference in tone there. Here's what this sounds like, neck pickup soloed. And here is the vintage voicing, my least favorite. Okay, I'm going to move the switch back into the modern voicing, and let's play with this EQ a little bit. First, let's take everything all the way down. And let's bring the bass control up first, leaving the treble at full cut, and the voicing in the modern mode. And let's move the switch over to the modern scooped setting. And here is the vintage setting. Next, I'm gonna boost the bass about 50%, and we'll go through the three voices one more time. One thing that you really can't do well with this bass is get that tone rolled off, warm, vintage sound. And the stock Apollo standard with the blackout pickups could get a ton of warmth and you could get a ton of thump out of it where these are kind of lacking, even with the bass boosted. So again, here is the modern voice, bass boosted 50%, treble at full cut. <laughs> Here's the modern scooped voicing.
And here's the vintage voice saying. Now I'm going to take the bass control down to, uh, let's cut it all the way, and I'm going to center the treble control. Here's what that sounds like with the modern voicing. <laughs> Here's the modern scooped voicing with the treble at center and the bass at full cut. And here is the vintage voice. Okay, I'm going to bring the voicing back to the modern voicing. We're going to bring the bass to center, and we are going to boost the treble 50%. Here's what that sounds like. Here is the scooped voice. And here is the vintage voice. Okay, so overall, again, I'm not impressed with the voicings of the Fishman Fluence pickups on this bass, and I think the in-house blackout pickups do sound superior. Now, let's center the EQ and bring our voicing switch back to modern, and we are going to pull our volume control, wherever that is, right over here, and this is going to engage single coil mode. Close claim that their single coil operation is absolutely silent. I've played multiple Fishman basses and I have never heard their single coil mode be actually quiet. It's still a single coil operation and in a noisy electrical environment like what we have here, you are gonna get some audible hum as we are right now. So this is the neck pickup, single coil mode, EQ centered, and the modern voice engaged. Here's what that sounds like. Next here is the mid scoop on the modern voice. And here is the vintage voice. Let's play with this EQ a little bit and go through the three voicings in single coil mode. So first I'm going to cut the treble fully and boost the bass around 50% in the modern voice, single coil mode. Next here is the mid scoop.
And here's the vintage voice. Next, let's bring the bass to center and boost our treble to about 50%. Go back to the modern voicing. Still plenty of noise. Let's get started. Next, here's the scooped voice. And here is the vintage voice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and re-engage humbucker mode. We're gonna bring the blend control to the bridge pickup and center the EQ one more time. Now, one thing I have to mention, in single coil mode, they say both on the Fishman website as well as on the Close website for these pickups, that single coil mode is engaging uh, the coils in a jazz bass type spacing. However, the stock configuration is the inside coils, and that's how this bass is configured. That is actually not jazz bass spacing, that's quite a bit narrower. I believe the outer coils would be the jazz bass spacing, however that is not configured here, nor is that the default configuration for the Fishman Fluence pickups. There is a little solder point that you can change to switch the, uh, the coils in the single coil mode, however there's a lot of soldering just involved in the whole Fishman Fluence pickup installation anyways, so I've already done that myself and I have no desire to do that again. <laughs> So anyways, here is the bridge pickup with the EQ centered, our voicing in modern mode, and humbucker mode engaged. Here we go. Here is the modern scooped voice. And here is the vintage voice. Next, let's take the treble down all the way, wherever that is, here it is, and boost the bass around 50%. Go back to the modern voice, and here's what that sounds like. Here's the scooped voice. And here's the vintage voice. Next, let's bring the bass back down to center and boost our treble to 50% now from cut. We'll also re-engage our modern voice. Here's what that sounds like. Here's the modern scooped voice. And the vintage voice. Okay, let's center the EQ now and engage single coil mode. Now, I have to say, the vintage voice is just my least favorite. That one sounds just the most artificial to me. Let's hear what this bass sounds like with the EQ centered, single coil mode, bridge pickup, modern voice too. 
Modern scooped. And vintage. I'm going to re-engage humbucker mode now, and let's center the blend control. So now we have both pickups engaged, and the EQ still centered. Let's move on from that, have both pickups engaged in humbucker mode. We have the modern voicing, and the EQ is centered. Here's what that sounds like. Here's the scooped voice. And here is the vintage voice. Next, we're going to boost the bass around 50% and take the treble to full cut. Here's that with the modern voice. Here's the scooped voice. And the vintage voice. Now let's take the bass to center and we are going to boost the treble to 50%, still in humbucker mode with both pickups engaged. Here's that with the modern voice. <laughs> Here's the scooped voice. And here is the vintage voice, both pickups engaged, humbucker mode, with the treble boosted and the bass at center. Okay, let's go back to the modern voice, center our EQ, and we are going to pull the volume control to engage single coil mode and we are using the inside coils here. However, you can change a setting on the pickups to make it the outside coils. Okay, single coil mode with both pickups engaged in the modern voicing. Not bad, not bad at all. I actually kind of dig that. That's with the EQ centered. I think it's lacking a little bit of kick, but the tone is nice. Let's bring in the scooped mode, see what that sounds like with single coil mode engaged. And here is the vintage voice. Let's go back to modern and we are going to cut the treble, boost our bass around 50% and see if we can get this to sound a little fatter.
was the modern voice. Here's the modern scoop. And here's the vintage voice. Wow, that was a lot of tones that we've gone through, and I think I've painted a pretty good picture of what the close Apollo Pro with the Fishman's Fluence with the Fishman's Fluence with the Fishman Fluence pickup system can do. I'm going to center the EQ, re-engage humbucker mode, and I'm gonna go ahead and play it with a pick real quick in all three pickup modes, both pickups engaged, and then give it a slap with the same settings. First is the modern voice, both pickups, EQ centered, and a pick. <laughs> Oops. And here is the modern scoop setting. And here's the vintage voice. Let's put the pick away, still working on that. And let's give it a quick slap in all three pickup modes. First, here's modern. Next is the modern scoop. And here's vintage. And you know what? Let's engage single coil mode. Let's do it one more time. All three pickup modes with some slap. So here is the modern voice, single coil mode. Next, here's the scooped voice. And finally, here is the vintage voicing with single coil mode engaged. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to re-engage humbucker mode. We are going to go to the modern voicing. The EQ is still centered. Let's throw some drums behind the space. Thank <laughs> you. 
So here are my final thoughts on the Close Apollo Pro equipped with the Fishman Fluence pickup system. Compared to the Apollo Standard with the Blackout pickups, where I think anywhere you go on that bass sounds killer. You get warmth, you get clarity, you get oomph. Here you're really not getting any of that and it sounds artificial. On that note, you do not have to get the Fishman Fluence pickups with the Apollo Pro. They offer the standard blackout pickups, as well as all sorts of custom options. So what am I going to rate the Close Apollo Pro? Yeah, I'm going to rate this bass... Three claws out of five. The Close Apollo itself is an excellent bass. The standard is a killer value. And this Pro has a lot of great features. However, for nearly $750 more than the Apollo Standard, basically sitting under $2,200 right now, the Apollo Pro, in my opinion, does not offer the same value that the Apollo Standard has. The custom bridge, the GraphTech nut, and the GraphTech ratio tuners are really nice touches, as well as the Fishman Fluence pickup system, but in my opinion, all of that really isn't worth the additional $750 that it'll take to get to this instrument. But overall, this offers the same playing experience as the Apollo Standard, with just more frills. Let me know what you all think about the Close Apollo Pro down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Close Apollo Pro. And as always, until we groove again.